Who is responsible for Taiwan's defense? Part 127 Formulation number one, no session ABCD chart. This is the preliminary structure for formulation number one, which is the no session chart. We know that military occupation is conducted under military government, as explained multiple times in previous films. So, we can add the necessary labels to our chart to clarify the significance of different points, etc. Formulation number one, labels for the points A, B, C, and area D. A. Surrender ceremonies, end of hostilities, beginning of military government. B. Peace settlement comes into force, no session. C. End of the military government of the legal occupier, end of interim status. D. Final status after the end of the military occupation, civil government operations begin. Formulation number one. Labels for the points W, B, A, B, C, and area D. W, B. War begins, beginning of hostilities. A. Surrender ceremonies, end of hostilities, beginning of military government. B. Peace settlement comes into force, no session. C. End of the military government of the legal occupier, end of interim status. D. Final status after the end of the military occupation, civil government operations begin. We should mark the point in time when the war begins. This is the beginning of hostilities. Then we can more clearly mark the period of time when military government is in force. Next, we know that the period when military government is in force corresponds to the period of military occupation. In military parlance, the military occupation during this period of time, before the final peace settlement, is commonly described as belligerent occupation. As discussed previously, military occupation is a period of interim status. Military occupation ends when legally supplanted by a recognized civil government for the territory. We can specify the ongoing status of the military government more accurately by changing our label to read. USMG Administrative Authority is active. This completes the design of formulation number one, which is the no session ABCD chart. Two examples of the application of this chart to the Mexican-American War are the cities of Tampico and Mexico City. These were both conquered, liberated, by U.S. military forces, but there was no territorial cession of their territory in the peace treaty. Being under military occupation, the defensive needs of these geographic areas, against military attack by foreign military forces, are of course the responsibility of the legal occupier. During the military occupation of these cities, there were of course adequate numbers of U.S. military forces stationed there to deal with all eventualities.